For over a decade, the laptop of choice to run DJ software was dominated by the MacBook, specifically the MacBook Pro. When software like Serato Scratch Live started to mature, Apple's notebook computer became the predominant choice amongst DJs for its reliability, build quality, power, as well as aesthetics. For the non-tech savvy DJs, it was simple. It just worked. While some Windows machines at the time could match or exceed the power specs of the MacBook, the number of choices on the market made the decision making a bit convoluted. Now, while hardware could range from low cost notebooks to high powered gaming machines, the Windows operating system from a decade ago was full of bloat and it sometimes caused reliability issues when running DJ software. And if you're not that comfortable getting under the hood and optimizing your machine, you could sometimes run into some problems. Now, Windows has come a long way ever since and Windows 10 today is much more reliable. But still, the amount of choices out there can still make choosing a Windows laptop still a little confusing. Because what a lot of people don't know, it's not just the operating system that affects the way the DJ software works. It's also the parts of the hardware that can affect the performance and latency of audio processing. And at this time, Apple is going through a paradigm shift with the Mac platform. There's actually two shifts. There's a shift from Mac OS 10 to Mac OS 11, which is known as Big Sur, and another shift with the type of processor that the computers run, which is going from Intel to Apple Silicon. Many DJ software and hardware companies are doing what they can to scramble to get their gear and software ready to work with Big Sur. Now recently, Pioneer DJ announced compatibility with Big Sur with a list of items that can both work with the operating system and the M1 MacBooks. Serato just recently released a beta version of Serato DJ Pro that is Big Sur compatible, but it's not ready yet for the M1 MacBooks. With many applications and hardware still waiting on Big Sur and M1 compatibility, it's not really a wise time for DJs to buy a new Mac machine, even if it's Intel equipped. And that's because brand new Macs are always equipped with the latest operating system and it doesn't allow you to go back. So what is the alternative? Is there a Windows laptop out there that can meet or exceed the performance demands of both running DJ software and using it with DJ hardware? This is the XMG DJ15. It's the first Windows notebook computer designed to be used with DJ software. So before we get to the XMG DJ15, a word from our sponsor, Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database for working DJs and mix artists. It's the one-stop shop where you can get your music from for your gigs. It's a searchable, organized database with thousands of edits, remixes, and different versions of your favorite tracks from many different genres. You can now save some money and get a discount using one of these two coupon codes. Use the code PJMONTHLY and get 30% off your first month off any monthly subscription. Use the coupon code PJYEARLY and get 10% off your entire first year of any yearly subscription. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. So who exactly is XMG? Well, they are a computer company that is based in Germany and they specialize in gaming laptops. Unofficially, XMG stands for Extreme Multimedia and Gaming. XMG is actually part of Schenker. The XMG DJ15 is one of their recent products and it's not a gaming laptop and it's also not a lifestyle laptop. It's a laptop specifically optimized to run smoothly with DJ software. It achieves a less than one millisecond DPC latency. The way they did that was that they did test of different hardware combinations and chose the ones that produce the least amount of DPC latency. Also, the BIOS was modified as well as Windows. This version of Windows on this laptop is bloat free. It's the closest thing you can have to a vanilla Windows install. It allows for smooth DJ software operation 
at the lowest buffer settings with just about no glitches that are caused by background operations. Now the best stress test that I've actually seen on this machine was the one done by RK from XMG. It's actually what caught my attention to the laptop and what he did was he ran four different DJ software applications simultaneously and was triggering something in each one of them. And when you actually look at the meter, the resource usage remains stable and relatively low. So for the configurations, the processors come in two choices. You either get a four core i5, it's 1.6 gigahertz with a turbo boost of 4.2 gigahertz. Or in the machine that I have here, you have also the four core i7 and it's 1.8 gigahertz with a turbo boost of 4.9. 16 gigabyte RAM is the standard, but you have your option to go up to 32. And for storage, you have all solid state options with a choice of SATA or PCI Express. And you can start at 500 gigabytes, which I have here, one terabyte or two terabytes. I have the international English keyboard here for American folks. You'll notice that the return or enter key is tall. And for graphics, it's integrated graphics only. It doesn't come with an option for a dedicated GPU. The specs of the machine I have is an i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabytes for the SSD. So what exactly is the price of the DJ15? Well, it can vary country to country. So what the numbers I'm gonna give you is what they are priced locally where they came from, which is Germany. The reason for this is because in Europe, they have the VAT, the value added tax, and the price of components like the SSD can vary. But the i5 with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte is 1100 euro. I know I mentioned that mine only has 500 gigs, but you have that option to switch it to a 500 gig if you want. Now the max configuration, which is the i7 with the 32 gigs of RAM and two terabyte solid state, that's no more than 1500 euro. And for you Mac users out there, Keep in mind, this laptop, the solid state drive, and the RAM are user replaceable. So you can start out with standard configurations and upgrade later. Now, one of the things that are mind blowing about XMG is they actually have a really, really amazing warranty. The included standard warranty is good for 24 months with quick repairs for up to six months. And if you're willing to pay extra for extended warranties, there's a total of six tiers of warranties. The Platinum Warranty, which is the highest warranty option, is 89 euro, and that's covered for 36 months with 36 months of quick repair. Now let's talk about the fun part. What do I like? I like the fact that it's light. It's actually lighter than my equivalent sized MacBook Pros, which is a 15 inch, an older 15 inch from 2013 and the recent 16 inch. So this is a light laptop. Now, one of the things I notice is it seems like it has a soft bottom because it has a resin bottom cover, but it doesn't actually flex. It's very sturdy. The aluminum actually keeps the body pretty rigid. It has really large thermal vents and it includes a fan control utility built in. Now the trackpad is very smooth. It doesn't make any mistakes and the fingerprint security is right on the trackpad. It has two dedicated buttons for your left click and your right click, and it does do multi-gesture. Now, I love chiclet keyboards, and I love the one that's on here, especially since it's backlit. It's not individually backlit, but you can change the colors, just like a gaming laptop. I usually keep it at teal or blue. There is a utility to control the colors and the brightness, and when the backlight actually activates. Now the display is a matte finish to reduce glare. And we know why we got to reduce glare because if we're in a dark nightclub or event and dance lights are going everywhere, we don't want to be blinded by the reflections on coming from your laptop. MacBooks are generally made in gloss for contrast, but they can be a little bit above pain when you have a lot of light, especially coming from behind you. Now it's not the brightest screen I've seen in the world, but it's pretty good. It's more than bright enough for an indoor event or a nightclub. Now, one of the things about a notebook computer that a lot of reviewers like to do is, can you do a one finger open of the screen? And unfortunately on the XMG DJ15, the bottom half is not heavy enough 
to stay put when you're opening the screen. So it does require two hands. However, for a DJ laptop, I'm actually cool with that because that means the hinges are a lot more stable. One of the things I hate is when the desk is moving or the room is vibrating from the subwoofers is a constantly wobbling display. The DJ 15 seems to have a more rigid lid. Now the frame rate is spot on even at 60 frames per second. It looks super, super smooth. And one of the other things I like is the fact of how it's optimized. The hardware parts that were picked, the modified BIOS and the modified windows all to reduce DPC latency. Now keep in mind, DPC latency isn't exactly related to how much, how little buffer size you can set it to. It's more about whether the computer can actually maintain a smooth operation at low buffer settings. DJ apps like Rekordbox and Serato DJ Pro open relatively fast, but more importantly, the boot up and the shutdown of this laptop is also relatively fast. It actually shocked me how fast it could go from on to off and then off to on. So let's just try that real quick. We'll do a shutdown, Windows shutting down. Now it's off. Now we're gonna turn it on from completely off. XMG logo, nice little light show on the backlit keyboard. And now we're on our desktop. Now, the other thing that's awesome about this laptop is the amount of ports that are on it. It's a thin laptop, it's a light laptop, but it's a very for pro use for the application that it was built for. Now on this side, we got our power supply, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and then we got our microphone and headphones. On this side, we have USB Type-C with Thunderbolt. We got a mini DisplayPort output. We got HDMI. SD card reader, and we got ethernet. You can also use the USB type C port to charge, which is how I normally use it in my setup here. And to finish up where I like, like I mentioned earlier, the parts are upgradable, the SSD and the RAM. So you can start out at a lower spec and then upgrade it later. Now, what are my dislikes? Well, while I do like the smoothness of the trackpad, I am used to the Apple trackpad, which is a single click multi-touch pad. There's no buttons on it. Now I can use it by tapping it, but I do prefer feeling the haptic feedback or the click of the trackpad. That way I'm not always going down looking for the buttons. But I know that's just my spoiled Apple side. You can just Bluetooth your trackpad to the XMG, which I did when I first opened the laptop. Also, here's another thing. The trackpad's actually slightly offset to the left, but it's not centered to the keyboard. Because of that, I always find myself going into the keyboard one key to the right, just a little too far, and not being centered with it. I wish the trackpad was just centered with the keyboard, so that way it's easier to align yourself with the proper way your fingers are supposed to line up with the keyboard. While I do like the chiclet style keyboard, I don't like the fact that it has a numpad because I don't really find much of a use for having it. Now maybe there are uses for it, but with controlling DJ software, I don't really find myself needing to go that way. What would be cool is to just take the keyboard, center it, and you're gonna have space on the left and right and have a centered trackpad, and then use the remaining space for some speakers. Which goes to my next point. The speakers are actually firing from basically underneath the laptop off to each side. When you first see these, you think this is part of the cooling system. No, these are <laughs> the speakers right here. And you know how good they sound? Let's just say my iPhone's speaker when playing back music sounds better than what's coming out of the speakers here. In fact, I'm comparing it to an iPhone 6S, a really old iPhone and it sounds clearer from my phone than it does coming out of here. The only advantage is it's in stereo. 
While DJ laptops, you would be using it with DJ gear anyway, and DJs will still tend to use their speakers on their laptop when they're organizing their library, especially when they're previewing tracks from sites like Direct Music Service. Now the display is an HD display, it's 1920 by 1080p. But for me, who's kind of spoiled with the retina display, it doesn't look that crisp with Serato. I had cataract surgery on my right eye, so I have an inocular implant in there. And sometimes, especially when it's low resolution, it's hard for me to see smaller fonts and smaller typefaces. And this is most especially in the settings menu of Serato. And for myself, while I do like the matte finish to reduce glare, I think I'm actually okay if it was, there was a gloss option. If you're used to a laptop that's already glossy, it wouldn't bother you if you had a new laptop that was gloss. The matte finish is great for rejecting glare, but you also notice that the blacks don't look as black on them. And it would be awesome to have that second option for those who prefer glossy for the contrast or matte for the reduced glare. Now for my wishes, as I mentioned, I wanted a 2.5K higher resolution screen for more crisp and also a gloss finish option as well as matte. And it does not have a dedicated GPU, but I think it would be important to have it because now we're in the time of live streaming. While a lot of folks use multiple computers in their live stream setup, sometimes some folks just want one dedicated computer that can do it all. And having a dedicated GPU, if it can handle all this DJ software, just having the GPU there for OBS to live stream to Twitch, to YouTube, it would be great to utilize that power off one computer. And one other small thing, I wish it had two USB type C ports on it instead of just one. And here's the reason why. If you go off to a gig and say you have an SSD and you only have the wire that's USB type C to USB type C and you forgot your power supply and the only power supply available that you could borrow from someone is USB type C. Now you should have a backup wire for your SSD, but say you don't, you're left with only one port when you need two devices on it. I know, I know, if you prepared properly, this wouldn't be an issue, but it would be cool and really useful to actually have two. Now I actually got to have a conversation with RK who was behind the development of the XMG15. Now here's some of the questions that I asked him. First question was, up to what temperature can this laptop handle and still be able to be used smoothly? If you've ever used a MacBook and it's anything above 90 degrees and you're using it outside, you start learning terms like thermal throttling. There are laptops out there that just can't handle the heat. It starts throttling back performance and it results in glitchy audio with laggy performance on the laptop. That's why you generally don't see people using laptops on a festival stage, especially if it's outside and it's hot out. Well, RK himself had to perform in a music festival in Egypt. And what he told me converted to Fahrenheit, it was 104 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And he did a whole set where the XMG DJ15 performed flawlessly with no thermal throttling. That's well above the temperatures where I have seen two of my MacBooks actually start to glitch up just because it's too hot outside. Another question was, do I need to follow DJ software recommended optimization guides? See, if you download Serato right on the download page, there's usually a link there to help you optimize your operating system, whether it's Mac or PC. So that operation of the software is smoother. Same goes for Rekordbox. Usually these are guides that tell you to turn off your Wi-Fi, turn off your Bluetooth, and it's just little tidbits of improvement to get the most when you're performing on the edge with your machine. Well, the answer is no, you do not need to go through the optimization guide unless you want to. The improvements on the parts, the BIOS, and the modification of Windows is more than enough to make up for that little, little bit much more that you would get out of following an optimization guide. I also asked them, how did you pick the parts that resulted in the lowest latency. And I sort of answered this question as I talked about how they did the parts. And basically what they did was engineers at Shanker, which is the parent company of XMG, they basically test different combination of parts because you don't actually know how fast each part is gonna work with another part until they're actually working. 
So they put different combinations together and whatever gave you the best performance, that's actually what ended up being the DJ15. That's actually one of the things that Apple likes to claim and say that, oh, the reason why our computers perform well is because our parts work better together. So Apple has no excuse, but we also know that these notebooks from Apple aren't necessarily optimized specifically for DJ use. Now, another question I had was, can you use the XMG DJ15 for audio production software like Pro Tools, Logic, or Ableton Live? The answer is yes, if you're doing light to medium audio processing, if you're just creating a mashup or doing an edit, but for major audio production where you're using heavy plugins or multiple tracks, like big numbers of tracks, the answer is no. It's not optimized for handling audio software to that magnitude. It might be misleading because it handles DJ software so well, but the way audio editing software works, it's a little different in how it processes. And the truth is it actually takes a beefier computer to do that. It would probably cost a thousand bucks more to get the DJ15 to be also optimized for audio production. Maybe that should be added to the wish list for the DJ slash producers. And my last question to him was, do I have to reinstall Windows periodically? One of the things I had to do when I used to have a Windows computer was every year or every year and a half to two years, the operating system got so messy that I just had to reinstall Windows. Now, RK said, if you use the XMG DJ15 for just DJing and you're not visiting any websites that may be a little sketchy or downloading any pirated software, you should be fine. Windows Defender has come a long way in maintaining protection from malware. And you gotta remember, I know it's thin, it's light, but it's not a lifestyle laptop. It's specifically made to be used by DJs. Now I know I got my Microsoft Teams on there and I might have a little bit more Office 365 applications in there, but the core purpose of this laptop is to provide a low cost viable alternative for the DJs so they don't have to spend two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on a MacBook Pro. Now Mojax mentioned this in his review of the XMG15. This laptop actually comes out faster than the 16 inch MacBook Pro at the lowest buffer settings when you're using the same DJ software. That was a figure that was actually tested by Professor BX. Now you might not notice the difference in small two, three milliseconds. What you will notice is Serato or Rekordbox's resource meter will actually be lower on the XMG15 than the more expensive 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now you've probably already seen it on my channel. This laptop sort of lives on this laptop stand over here but I'm gonna be continuing to test the DJ15 through the months with different DJ gear that I use in my studio and also with different DJ software. Right now, of course, I have Serato DJ Pro and Rekordbox 6, but we'll see how it does with even algorithm, maybe even virtual DJ. Here's one of the bad news about the XMG DJ15. It's only available in continental Europe and the United Kingdom, but there's a growing interest for this laptop in the North American market. RK from XMG will be doing more product videos with the XMG DJ15 on the XMG YouTube channel. And normally I would say if you got any questions, comments, or anything to add about the XMG DJ15 that I didn't cover in this video, I would say leave them in the comment section below. But what's awesome from the release of this video, RK from XMG is actually gonna be in my comment section down below to answer your questions. If you got any technical questions or if you want to know if you can get the XMG DJ15 where you live, leave them in the comment section below where I pinned our case comment. So for the first week, he's going to be checking the comments to see what you guys are saying. If you want to know more about the XMG DJ15 or see XMG's product line, be sure to go to xmg.gg. One of their laptops was actually on Linus Tech Tips and Linus called it the most powerful laptop ever. I believe it was the Apex 15. All right, if you like this video, please smash that like button. And if it's your first time here and you found this video useful, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get a notification the next time I upload a video. Don't forget to add me on Twitch where I do my live mix show live streams at. I like to switch around the type of DJ gear I use so whatever you see me talk about in my YouTube videos, 
you can see in action. But also, you'll also see the XMG DJ15 in action, which I'll be using in a lot of those mix shows. All right, so be sure to follow me on Twitch. Really appreciate you for watching. Take care and stay healthy.